Hello, welcome to my weekly vlog, Deborah Kearse Art Journey. I am talking today about whether you're ready for press. One of my students had a question for me asking what they needed to do in order to get ready for that big break, that publication, that announcement, that uh, article, press release, etc. Well, first of all, I think the, the short answer is yes, you're ready. But there are some things that you can do to kind of help that along and use that traction of a great write-up or a great publication to get more eyeballs. And I've got a little list here of things that you can do, but you've probably done them already, I'm guessing. So um, let me just start in. First, I think a website is important. If you don't have a website, then if you have some place that you can actually list, a blog, a uh, um, just a, anything anywhere that someone can access in order to see your work inventory, that's gonna be the main thing. I mean, there, if someone writes about you and then another person goes to the trouble to look for you and they can't find you, they're gonna probably forget your name. But if you have a Facebook page, a um, Instagram account, uh, anything anywhere that shows your list or your um, images, even if they just Google your name and find images of art that you've created, that's a good thing. A bio really helps, a biography. And there are lots of different templates on the internet that you can find that tell you how to create one of those. Also, an artist's statement. A lot of people, a lot of times, will ask for that in order to write a press release or some other document or a article about you. A resume is always a good thing, just to show you've got street cred. and. A growing ma email list would be something, if you haven't started it already, I would definitely recommend that. It's free, right? Email is free for the most part, except for your account. Um, and you want to try and use whatever attention you get from that big press release to grow that email list by keeping in touch with those people, by interacting with them. And if it's genuine, then they'll feel it and you might have made a new friend, but you probably made a new follower. Consistent pricing is important too. You don't want to have somebody go to your website or other place that they look for your stuff and see that you're selling $50 things and $5,000 things and they're the same size and the same quality. That, that won't fly very well. So make sure to prepare or delete everything you have on the internet that is not in your consistent current price range or pricing um, strategy. And cohesive recognizable styles really help as well. People will remember you better, and I'm so bad at this because I like to paint everything. If they're walking down the street and they see a piece of work in the gallery and they can go, oh, that's a Deborah Kearse painting right from the street, then you've done a really good job at this. But it helps just to cement in people's head, oh, that's the person who paints whatever, origami or that's the person who paints great portraiture doing it in this sort of a style. If you can, if you can find that in your career, then it really helps to, to make it so that uh, people can remember you. And also remember whatever press you happen to get, what if you, if you win an award, anything that you do that's, I mean, first of all, congratulations, but it's wonderful. It should also be repeatable. So, plan on having to reach out and do something similar seven times in a row before someone even turns their head because I don't know I don't it's something psychological I don't know all the details but scientists have proven time and again that people need to see and hear things up up to seven times before it sinks in and they actually remember it so don't be discouraged if your first big uh, press release doesn't wind up in a whole lot of eyeballs the next time you're out there with your name and your work, um, it'll be more effective, I promise you. So good luck, and <clears throat> I hope you're ready for press. I hope you get some press.